on proper use of stainless steel developing wheels. Just wanted to show one or two quick tips. This is much, much quicker than yesterday's 10 minute ordeal. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, tip number one. I shot a roll of a really excellent film, um, Dracula 35 from FPP. It's a um, Svema FN64, I think. Anyway, when you're going to when you're going to ever put your film in a canister, always cut the um, cut a flat spot here. So I'm gonna cut through there, right across. All right, probably already knew that, but I thought I'd remind everybody: always cut a flat spot. And when you're using a steel reel, the great thing is, you know, some of the film's already been exposed to put in the camera. So we can do this hard part in the light. So I'm going to feed it over. Got the focus right here. Get it started under the little steel catch there. And now, visually, we can see that it's too low in here. It's folding over on the bottom down here and there's a gap on the top. And we can just fix that while we're looking at it. Plus, it gives you a chance to feel what you're seeing and kind of get used to just doing it in the dark too by feel. But you get your start here in the light. Alright? So that's the first thing. Second, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do the reel later. Second, or third I guess, um, when you're using, just when you're develop, if you have one of these that's for a 120 or two 35s, and that's your only tank or it's your only available tank, put the film in the bottom, but always put a spare empty on the top. So when you agitate, it doesn't go in there cattywampus sideways and get jammed. All right, a few quick tips to add to what I gave you yesterday. Hope you appreciate it. Thanks for watching.